Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Mystic Door Tarot. This is Barb with your weekly tarot card reading for December 2nd through the 8th. We're going to be taking a look, um, a quick look, at the current energy for the week ahead. Hope everyone's doing well and enjoying the holiday season. Now keep in mind, Scorpio, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. So with that, let's get started. We're seeing which um, what crystal is being suggestive for you, Scorpio, for this week. Could be the same as your monthly reading, or there might be um, different energy coming in this week. Tourmaline, this is in regards to uh, like a protection, keeping you grounded, and maybe uh, warding off negative energy that's around you. Let's look at your... Uh, Oracle message for the week is coming through for Scorpio. Kind of really protecting your energy of what you're exposing yourself to, who's you, who you are exposing yourself to. Uh, there's a lot of negative energy. Oh, and I almost, I saw what the card was almost going to flip over. Let's see if it comes out again. No. Okay. Honest work. It's okay to have a job that's not very glamorous. Get some experience to help you to move up in the future. Success is a process, not a quick fix. Mm, I'm picking up, yeah, with this card coming out, this message. Um, some of you are not happy with the work that you do. Maybe it's a toxic work environment. Um, there's very low vibrational negative energy, um, and that's why you're getting the uh, black tourmaline crystal card. Um, if you have black tourmaline, be sure you're carrying it with you this week. It doesn't matter about the work, but there's something in the environment I'm picking up, Scorpio, that you don't care for. You're going to be able to move up and move on. And get away from that environment. So what's the fortune oracle have to say for you? It's coming through for Scorpio. The world. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. So yeah, there's something on the horizon. This is very much like the world tarot card. Where you can be letting go of the past out with the old, in with the new, and that certainly can be in regards to work that you do. It's about your mindset. It's about protecting your energy. This is a process, though, Scorpio. So it's not something that's going to happen overnight. But with the world card showing up, you need to be open to uh, whatever comes your way. So let's see what your tarot cards have to say coming through for Scorpio for the week. All right. And we have strength. Everybody's getting the strength card this week. Archangel Ariel, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgive, forgiveness and compassion. Um, I almost feel like you're going to have to endure whatever it is that you're doing for work just a little bit longer. Dig deep down to keep going. There could be, um, yeah, I'm just picking up what's around you. Very negative, low vibrational energy. And the forgiveness, the compassion comes through in regards to uh, if this is people around you, why are they that way? There's got to be a reason. It's kind of like the, uh, you don't know what's going on in their lives. But needless to say, you're going to be able to get out of the situation. There's new possibilities um, being made available. So hang on. Have your black tourmaline crystal with you. The moon, Archangel Haniel, important 
psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. Now, this is two major arcana cards here. And with the moon card, that means there's things working behind the scenes that you don't have that kind of information. So there could be very much a change coming in this week or the start of a change. When the moon shows up, it's all about divine timing. Um, you necessarily won't have, uh, you know, the information of what's um, kind of transpiring behind the scenes. So don't, it's, it's telling you not to worry. The important psychic insights is really trusting in your intuition. You might have an inkling that something's about to go down or something's about to take place, and you're probably right on with that. But events behind the scenes. So there is something. Um, this card's telling you to hold on. This card is telling you that there are things working, being put into place. So be open to the possibilities. And not to worry. Let's see what else you get, Scorpio. But definitely with the tourmaline crystal giving you protection so you stay grounded, centered, and balanced. And you don't um, start really letting that negative energy around you take hold of you. Two of water, two of cups, a relationship that continues to grow closer. This is about forgiveness and the positive resolution of a conflict. So interesting, there's possibilities. There's information here, Scorpio, in regards to your work. Maybe you don't enjoy the work that you do. But you need to get some more knowledge, some more experience, maybe more information. That's going to help you move on, move up, whichever direction you really want to go. New possibilities, you need to be open to it. You need to have a positive mindset. We have forgiveness showing up twice here. So it can be in regards to people around you that you just simply don't understand them. Two of Cups is some kind of partnership, a friendship, a co-worker, you know, a, a business type of working relationship. And it, uh, I was just going to say, there's, there's a resolution of it. And it does say a positive revolution of the conflict. So whatever is troubling you, possibly this week, or maybe it's escalating this week, with you having compassion and maybe um, stepping into the other person's shoes, you don't know what they're going through. There's something that's working behind the scenes. It can be in regards to a relationship as well. Work, relationship. There's something that needs re resolution. Things are just kind of um, lining up for you, Scorpio. Kind of like getting into place. It's um, probably confusing you. But significant change is coming in this week. You might get better insight. It is um, trusting your intuition whenever the moon card shows up. Let's clarify these tarot cards. Let's see the strength card. Can we clarify the strength card? Lessons learned from the past. You know what to do. You've been here before, Scorpio, that great inner strength. And just let go of the harsh judgments, grudges. Um, maybe um, this is in regards to people you have to work with. The Nine of Wands is one of um, review. It can also be kind of an energy of waiting for the other shoe to drop, waiting for uh, the worst to happen, which only brings it around with certainty. But 
you have all this experience to be able to um, be non-judgmental in regards to maybe people around you that you don't agree with, you don't care for. I do feel there's going to be like some opportunity where you're going to be able to get out of this situation. So it's kind of like um, just having that inner strength to stay put at the moment. So with the moon, yeah, you're going to be um, looking at your options. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is a card of reassessment, seeing if things are going the way that you want them to. And with this Oracle message coming out, it doesn't matter if the job isn't glamorous. It's strictly about um, getting into a better situation. And I'm just really picking up the reason you have the term line crystal here is to protect yourself from the negative uh, vibration that's around you in regards to possibly um, a group you're affiliated with, the workplace you're affiliated with. There is something working behind the scenes. Things have to pair up, like all the pieces of the puzzle have to get into place. So your two of cups here, relationship that continues to grow closer. Could be someone that you really don't get along with, but you're getting along with them a little bit better because of your compassion. So two of water. There's a new opportunity here. And the card does indicate a positive re resolution of a conflict, maybe an argument you had with someone. Two of Cups is a partnership, a friendship, um, like it could be a co-worker, it could be a neighbor. You do pick up a lot of low vibrational energy around you, Scorpio, which I think is, is driving you nuts. Wanting to get out of this situation. But... The world card is here. That, that's your uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Have a positive mindset that you're going to be able to move on. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life, but especially in regards to the work that you do. Let's take a look at your final message. It's coming through for Scorpio. Significant change could be taking place, making things a little bit easier, and then maybe an opportunity will be coming your way, Scorpio. Control. Link your own constellations and take control. That is your inner strength here, your experience, having that control to deal with uh, what your cards are indicating. All right, Scorpio, that is the energy and messages from the cards for the week ahead. Thank you so much for joining me. Love and abundance to my Scorpio family.